Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making jumping spider enclosures. Although I've kept my adult female Phidippus regius chai in an exoterra, I wanted to kind of give people an idea on how to construct their own enclosure if they don't want to spend like 30 to $40 on an enclosure, especially because I know a lot of people who keep jumping spiders actually have caught them themselves and they want to make something really quick to keep them in. So I wanted to go ahead and give like three different methods on how I DIY enclosures so that everybody kind of can figure out what would work for them from what they have like laying around the house. You're probably gonna still need to hit up a pet store for like substrate, but as for the enclosure itself, I think that pretty much anybody could construct an enclosure from things they have lying around the house, including making the ventilation. And then once we finish the enclosures, I have three new Phidippus regius to rehouse. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So these are the three jumping spiders that we are making enclosures for today. This is my female. She is a dark Phidippus regius. This is my friend's female. And then this is the male who I've actually paired with Chai at least twice. He spent two nights in there with her and I saw them pair at least twice. He survived. He's doing well. We'll probably end up pairing him with my other female that we just got. So first you're going to need a container. And the best option I think is a food container. So this one had animal crackers. I think this one had some kind of like cheese puffs and then this one actually had pickles in it these are all something really easy to find pretty much at any grocery store and maybe even lying around your house but of course you're going to want to put some kind of ventilation in each enclosure so we're going to try three different methods so i can just show you each that i personally will do so the first method that we are going to use is a drill this is not my favorite method just because sometimes it will crack the plastic so you have to be like really careful when you're doing it but it is probably the simplest. So yeah, that is what we're gonna try for this enclosure. So this enclosure, my friend actually picked out for her jumping spider and I really like it. This is really big and it's gonna make a great enclosure for it. For hers, I'm actually gonna use this soldering iron. Now this is not my favorite method because it kind of stinks a little bit. So you wanna do it next to a window or outside, but it is really easy to use and you can kind of pick what size hole you want. You can make like really tiny holes or you can push in all the way to the bottom and get like pretty large ones. So I feel like you have like a nice amount of control with it, but it does kind of stink. And so for this one, I'm actually going to do a different method. This is like a mesh from a hardware store that you can like use for like your screen door or whatever. And it's just like a fabric. It won't rust or anything. And then this is just a plastic cutting knife, which will be perfect. And I'm going to make some nice cross ventilation on this and then hot glue the mesh over it to kind of give it a lot of ventilation. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think we will do the drilling one first. <laughs> We used the drill to put little holes all around the entire container. So there's a ton of cross ventilation. We are going to use this one for my male jumping spider. Like any enclosure, we're gonna start off with some substrate, just enough to cover the bottom. I am going to give him a few leaves and then I'm just going to pop in a small chunk of cork. I always need to break the cork to make it fit right. So we have a ton of cork, a ton of hiding spots, and yeah, it's just a really simple setup. But I'm actually not going to put the male in here just yet because I actually want to house them with my other female. So let's go ahead and work on her enclosure because this is probably going to be my most elaborate. We're just going to smooth out the cut away part with the soldering iron. Again, we will start off with substrate. However, I'm not stopping there. I actually have this really pretty purple plant. It is called a purple passion plant and it is non-toxic to humans and animals and reptiles. I specifically bought it from a pet store and I planted it on this side because light from the window will come in from this side and that way the piece of cork I'm using won't shade it. You see what I mean? It's going to get light from this side. So this is my female. I am going to name her Bean. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to ruin your little masterpiece here. Oh my gosh, so pretty. There she is. What a pretty girl. You can see her colors are completely different than Chai, and she has really pretty greens near her fangs, whereas Chai actually has a pink color, just like my friends that we'll look at next. She is so gorgeous, and I hope that she likes this enclosure. We'll just have to see. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness. She's webbed up to that. 
And like I said, I wanted to put my male in here with her because he just spent two nights with my other female and it would be pretty cool if we could get him to pair with this female as well. He is super cute and he's trying to decide where to jump. I know what you're up to. You're so cute, oh my gosh. They have such big personalities and they're so cute and little. All right, you got another girlfriend. Don't get eaten. And yeah, I guess I'll let you guys know if they end up pairing too. I'm hoping they do. Hello, editing cat here, and I just wanted to mention, I actually changed my jumping spider's enclosure just a bit. So as you will see, I actually glued some cork bark to the side so she has more places to anchor webs to. And I also removed the plant because unfortunately it wilted pretty quickly, so I just knew it wasn't gonna do good in here. They ended up putting it in here with my toad. Thought it might be fun to try some bioactive. Oh, do you hear him squeak? But yeah, this is how the enclosure ended up turning out, and I think it looks really good, even though I had to make some changes and she is right down here check her out gorgeous but yeah I'm really happy with it I think it looks great and I've got it up here on top of Wednesday so yeah that's all I wanted to say oh it's hot okay last but not least we have my friends we have my friend's jumping spider. This enclosure is very big, but it'll be great. So let's get some substrate in here. We'll throw in some leaves. Do this cork, and then we'll do another piece of cork. It's hard. I wonder if I should like, I could hot glue this. Maybe I'll hot glue this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're just going to hot glue. Of course, we're gonna have to make sure it's like super dry before we put anything in here, but do this and then we just got to hold it in place for a few minutes all right so while that was drying I added a little bit more cork on the bottom and I put these leaves over here as you see my craftsmanship with the hot glue was kind of a hot mess right here but I just wanted to make sure that it would hold because you obviously don't want the cork to fall and we can go ahead and rehouse her all right so oh very pretty I really like how hers is like black and white with a little pink Look at the pink, it's so cute. This enclosure is going to be a little big actually for her. She's definitely not full grown. She still has some molts to go, but I think that she will definitely appreciate the space. So we can go ahead and put her in there. Oh, right in there. Did you see that backflip? She's just going right to work. Yeah, that'll be great. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw a cricket in here with her just because I don't know if my friend has any crickets on hand yet. This is her first spider, so I'm sure she'll have a lot of fun with her, but that's the enclosure. Before we go, I do have some new patrons I wanted to shout out really quick. Thank you so much, Hannah, Shay, James, Julia, Leslie, Caitlin, Teresa, Erica, Jocelyn, Sarah, Kayla, Stasa, Brendan, Susan, Billy, and Heather for joining my Patreon. And thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I'm on Instagram. It's probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet picks.